pink hello kitty period or should i say period because she's a cat <laughs> <laughs> First thing you want to do is import your footage or clip, so press Control i Also guys, I low-key have a little cold, so if I sound different, I'm sorry. After we do this, what we're going to do, zoom this one in. We're going to press S, and zoom it in, pre-compose both of these separately, so boom, pre-compose. Move all attributes into new composition, do the same thing for the other one, pre-compose. Then we're going to take this top one and we're going to mask it out to match with the bottom one. So click the eyeball tool and then kind of just like go over this part so then they match. And then once you turn this back on, it should match. And yeah, you can pre-compose it again if you want. We're going to turn on proportional grid. Make sure rectangle tool is on. You're going to take this first one and you're going to duplicate it twice. So then there's three in total. And now what you're going to do is take this first one and then we're just going to like split it in half. And basically these, so like you can should split it in the middle and they're going to take the second one, split it in the same area. So start from there and then go towards the end. And they're going to take the last one and then you're just going to move it like that until it's completed. Once you turn off this split, split, split. After we do this, we're going to color code this actually. So hold shift, click the top one or vice versa, click that and then change it to whatever color pink hello kitty period or should i say period because she's a cat <laughs> to duplicate this two times so it's three in total again so one two three delete one eyeball tool this off we don't see that anymore and then we're going to focus on this picture and do the same thing Once proportional grid is off, we're not gonna keyframe the flipping. First thing you're going to do is, so yeah, turn that off and then turn these on. This mask is a little messed up as well. So go into this, click mask, and then do something like that. We're gonna go to this first one and then we're gonna go towards the beginning and then we're gonna press R. Don't forget to make these 3D, all of them. And then you're gonna change the Y rotation and then that's going to change this. But as you can see, the anchor point is messed up, so we have to fix that. If you're on Windows, you can hold Y and then move this over while holding Y, but press A to bring up anchor point, and then you're gonna to have to like move it towards the center so that it matches the center of the anchor point. And then you're gonna position this back. So we're gonna move that back over here. Now we can rotate this, so press R, and then we're gonna change the Y rotation. Go forward a little bit, and then we're gonna change it something like that and then what we're gonna do is basically keyframe it so we're gonna go towards the center turn on motion blur highlight all of these and then easy ease this or right click keyframe assistant easy ease and then we're gonna go to our graph and we're gonna use speed graph guys if you need to change it from value to speed just click that and then change the speed this and then once you play it back it should flip and then you can make this graph tighter if you want it to go faster go towards our bottom clip and they're gonna do the same thing basically so you can actually turn this first one on so basically we have to like flip it along with the other ones you're gonna disable the first one so then it hides it then you're gonna press r and then you're gonna press the y rotation again and then this one you're gonna move forward and basically if you press u you bring up your keyframes and you can see these you're just gonna align it with this one right here i hope this makes sense guys and then flip this one 90 degrees. All right, so after you do that, you're gonna do your graph again, and then basically you're gonna match it with the other one. So press Y, and then turn this one back on, and then you see like the point where it like flips the fastest. I'm gonna align it with that guy. So turn on motion blur. I'm just gonna turn on motion blur for all of these. And then you're gonna match the graph. So the point where it's the fastest, where it spins, that's where the point is gonna be, if that makes sense. All right, so you should get this, guys. It looks a little weird. I did it the hard way, but basically I'm gonna show you how to do it the simple way. So basically, as you can see, it flips, but before it flips, we're gonna cut each clip, and then we're gonna delete the one after, and then the one before, or vice versa. It sounds very confusing, but it's way easier than how I explained it. So yeah, sorry guys.
This should be the last thing. Yes! Okay, guys, so. Boom. First, you're gonna make a new no layer. Boop. New. No object. You have to connect all of these to the null. Sorry, guys. So, connect these to the null, and then make sure the null's 3D. It's gonna link to the other thing. We're just gonna like press S, do keyframe, press R, keyframe all these, and then press U. And they're gonna go to the beginning, and then we could do like a little zoom in thing. So, I'm gonna change the rotation like that, put this to zero, and then it's gonna kind of like come in like that. You could delete these unwanted keyframes actually. Do our little keyframe and select all of these. You're gonna have to drag it like that, and then do something like that. All right, and then we're gonna make another no layer and then you're gonna make it 3D and connect it just like the other one. For each flip, we're gonna like zoom it out and like do different rotations, just like the video. Yeah, scale this out so I'm do something like that. Where it flips, where the most motion blur is, guys, we're gonna select all these, we're gonna easy ease these and we're gonna delete the unwanted keyframes and then we're actually gonna do something like this. We're gonna match it up where the motion blur is, guys. And it should be like this. So yeah, um, this part is a little time consuming, so I'm gonna do a time lapse, but yeah, I hope you get the gist and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I have finished doing the no layers and we get something like this. Now, all I need to do is add extra effects. Before you pre-compose it, we need to add a light. So layer, new, and then light. And then you could do point or parallel or spot. I think we're gonna do parallel. I kind of like it more. I don't know why, but. And then we're actually gonna duplicate this and then I'm just gonna add like CC, Y time, which is eight. All right, I think I like that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Okay, love you. Bye.